Hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, where we explore the world of app development. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a dynamic drop-down alternative in Flutterflow without the need for Firebase. In this tutorial, we'll be using Flutterflow's powerful features to create a dynamic drop-down using Flutterflow's widgets and parameters that updates based on user input. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how to create dynamic drop-downs in Flutterflow and how to use them in your own projects. So, let's get started. So, the first thing we want to do is that we create two text fields where we want our picked options to appear. So let's add list view and then drag two drop down fields into it. Now we need to add button to navigate between pages. You can also add navigation into the text field, but I find this way better. Let's also add some padding to make this look nicer. For now, I am going to name this button as a choose. Click on the first text field, I am going to name this as a car brand. And for the second text field, I am going to name this as car model. Let's click the first text field and scroll down until you see read only. Let's enable this for both text fields. Now, we are done with the home page. Let's create a new page. I am going to name this page Car Brands. In this page, we give users options where they can pick the right one. Let's replace this column with List View. There is nothing wrong using column. I just like list view more. Now, we need to add expandable widget in here. We can erase this text and replace it with our car brands. Now, click on Expandable Widget and change the view to Expanded. Once you have removed all the text in here, let's add another list view. In this list view, we want to add row widget and text widget. Now, we want to add couple more options. Change these texts to Audi car models. Now, we are going to create another expandable with another car. Now you need to repeat all the steps before.
When that's done, click on the first row and open up the Action Center. Now, select Navigate to Home page. And in here, we need to define parameters. Let's add parameter and name it as a car brand. Now, let's create another parameter and name this one car model. Let's also mark the data type as a string. Now when that's done, click on pass parameter twice. Now give parameter a value. First one will be Audi, and the second one will be RS6. Now we need to repeat this step with all the car models. So click the row that has your car model. Click on navigate home. Press pass parameters twice. Then type down your parameter value. First one will be car brand, and second will be car model. You can also click the text and do the same thing. Only problem with text is that it is harder to click on. That's why I recommend to select the entire row. Now, we need to go back to our home page. Click on the first text field and select initial value. From this list, select car brand. And for second text field, select car model. And finally, we need to add navigation to our button. Click on Add Action and click on Navigate to Car Brands page. Now we are ready to try our build. Click on Run Test Mode. Now, let's see how our app works when I choose a car model. It seems to be working. This drop downs may not look very nice, but we did not use any time building user interface. With a little bit of time, you can make it very beautiful 
and look nicer than standard drop down. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this helps with your own project. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. See you in my next tutorial.